spanning half a century of craftsmanship, a venerable old lady prepares to make the journey of a lifetime aboard the QE2. It's the maiden voyage to New York. After all those months of setbacks, all the speculation, all the ballyhoo that was beginning to sound so hollow, the greatest of the Cunadas is ready to vindicate her transatlantic promise. Few ships have ever held such promise or offered such flexibility. Her aim, to skin the cream off the transatlantic market and offer the most spacious cruising accommodation afloat. Bill Warwick is in control of 65,000 tons of marine sophistication, not to mention the well-being of 2,000 passengers and 900 crew. QE2 is a microcosm of 20th century living. Within its reassuring embrace, you don't feel you're traveling, you feel you've arrived. The fact that she races along at nearly 30 knots is almost incidental. The QE2 sets out to be a place that's good to be in. The ship will cross the Atlantic at the rate of 72,000 eggs per voyage, from the exotic variety of her menus to the most highly developed computer ever installed in a merchant ship, she should have the answer to every situation and every question bar one. That's the 30 million pound question, will she definitely make a profit? Certainly if it's left to Captain Warwick and his crew she'll be a winner, and if her market research is as good as her interior design, she couldn't fail. <laughs> Of all the ways we've been showing you of crossing the Atlantic, this must surely be the most sophisticated of the lot. 